Welcome back. The key to detecting the coronavirus in the air could be as close as the nearest beach. Yeah, this is really interesting. ABC Action News reporter Vanessa Ariza spoke with the CEO of a company that's using jellyfish to detect the virus. We see the ocean as a place to relax, kick back. But Dr. Serene El Momin sees it as a vast area of opportunity to stop the spread of the coronavirus, specifically with these. The jellyfish is the component of the, um, of the sensor that basically makes the, the cell emit light when a pathogen from the air is connected to it or binds to it. Dr. Al Momin is CEO of the company Senseware. She and her team work to find what's in the air behind the scenes. They do it with this, a box not much bigger than your Amazon Echo at home. This sensor detects pathogens in the air. Think of things like E. coli, SARS, and anthrax. In March, they shifted gears in what type of pathogen they wanted to find. So we took what we had and then kind of improved on it to really meet the challenges of today with COVID. The sensor can count particles down to the smallest micron, something our common eye will never catch. To detect the coronavirus, they made adjustments. For COVID, we have the SARS-CoV-2 antibodies in that cell. So what happens is that, you know, when we get the sample of the air, and the sensor gets the sample of the air, if there's a pathogen that binds into the cell or connects to it, it will emit light. So the question you're probably wondering is, how does a jellyfish play a role in all of this? Well, scientists use a luminescent component of it. That helps light up a cell when a pathogen from the air is connected to it or binds to it, basically calling it out. Add in sophisticated algorithms that measure the intensity of the light, and Dr. Al Momin can tell whether it's positive or negative. These machines do not come cheap. They cost in the tens of thousands of dollars, and they're geared more for places like your hospitals and your senior care facilities. Right now, it's in the beta testing process with the hopes of commercial availability by next month. In Tampa, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.